Hello everyone. I thank God that we have this opportunity again to be uh, to be able to bring the word of God one more time to you. Uh, today we're going to keep going forward in uh, uh, to our next segment on the armor of God and being a warrior for God and putting on the full armor of God. We've talked about the belt of truth and the breastplate of righteousness. Now uh, the next verse that we're going to be reading is in Ephesians 6.15. And it's called, and it says, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. So that's what we're going to be learning about today, the gospel of peace and how to ready ourselves with it. Um, uh, it, it, it is the Apostle Paul who wrote this letter to the, to the Ephesians. He, he was a, a, a great teacher. And one of the things that he, 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 he exhorted the people with the most was to be evangelists, to bring the word of God to everybody. And so this was one more thing that he was saying through this um, verse that he wanted us to be evangelists, to be able to bring peace to everybody, but he wanted us to bring it through the gospel of peace. That is the gospel of God. And, and as warriors of God, we have to learn that. Now, if we, if we go back to that verse, and it says, And with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of, of peace. We talk about the belt of truth. And the breastplate of righteousness and how it, it hold, the, the belt holds us all together. And the breastplate guarded our chest. Well, our breastplate guarded our hearts. And so the next step is to look at our feet. And it says, ready your, uh, and fit your, uh, your feet. Feet fitted with, the red, with readiness that comes from the gospel of God. He was telling us where, how we were going to, how we were going to, prepare our feet, how we're going to ready our feet to go forward. And it says that comes from the gospel of peace. So, but in, as a lot of the times when we think of warriors, we, th we think, okay, they must, back then, they wore their sandals, uh, and they were real tight, and they had to be fit correctly, they had to be uh, well formed uh, with good material, because they were going to be running forward into battle. But in our instance, as warriors of God, and as uh, and as the warriors that God wanted us to be prepared to be, and this is the Paul, uh, as if the evangelist Paul, the apostle Paul, I mean, wanted to prepare us with the with the armor of God. It wasn't so that we could run into battle, but so that we could stand for when the battle came, as we saw in uh, the. The verses before that, in verse 11, it says, take your stand. In verse 13, it says, stand your ground. And verse 14 says, stand firm. So every time that the Apostle Paul was telling us to put on an armor of God, he was telling us to stand firm. So it was standing. It was not going forward and fighting, but to stand firm when the battle came to us. And so that's what we needed to learn. We need to learn that we need to ready our feet to stand firm. And, and how are we going to stand firm? We've talked about it before, you know, in truth, in righteousness. But he wanted us to stand firm on the absolute truth. And that is the gospel of peace. The gospel of peace is the word of God. And, and, and he didn't want us to go forward and fight a battle. But... The battle's coming to us either way. He knew that, that the battle, the everyday battles of life and against our flesh, against the worldly things, against the evil one himself, he knew battle was going to come, but he wanted us to stand firm and, and to stand firm in peace, in the gospel of peace. He's not just letting telling us stand firm, but he's telling us how we're going to ready our feet to stand firm, and that is through the gospel of God, the gospel of peace. And in order to do that, we must be able to stand firm in it. And how are we going to know it? By reading it, by knowing what the gospel of peace is. The gospel, the word itself, means the teachings of Jesus and of peace. This is the gospel of peace. So we're teaching the teachings of Jesus and his peace, the peace of God and the peace he left us. God, Jesus told us in John 14, 27, the word says, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. So Jesus himself was telling us, I'm going to leave you my peace. And that's where you're going to stand firm on, on my peace. He's like, and I'm giving it to you, not as the world gives to you. Because the things in this world, the things that we see, the things that we do, the things that surround us, are things that trouble us, uh, 
things that let us live in fear, make us uh, have corrupted minds, perverse hearts, things that trouble us in every aspect. But the peace that God wanted us wanted to give us was was a pure, untouchable peace that nothing in the world can taint, nothing in the world can damage, nothing in the world can take away from us. The peace that Jesus wanted to give us was a whole different type of peace than the peace that we think we know in the world. We say, oh no, I have peace because, you know, I can sleep at night because I have a good job or I have... But those things only give us momentarily peace or a... a a fake piece because one's like for example I, I, I used a job we, we think okay I can sleep at night and I have peace because I have a good job and I have good money and income coming in but once we see other competitors coming in and that they do better than us we start to fear I might lose my job to that person or we see the economy is going down I might lose my job because you know downsizing all these things and, and that's just an example of the many things in our lives that we've think we find peace in but that peace is so small and so fake and so unreal compared to the peace that Jesus wanted to give us the peace that he wanted to give us is a peace that is forever in us forever for us and with us because if that peace is with you nothing in this world can taint it nothing in this world can get away from us and change it that peace is with us even in the troubled times and that's what Oh, that's what he wanted to tell us when he said, if, uh, "Have your feet feeded with the, with the readiness of the gospel of peace." If you have the gospel of peace, your feet will be ready to stand firm when the battle comes to you, because the troubles will come. And and and, and said, Jesus left, uh, lived a life of peace. He, he trouble did come to him. Jesus. Uh, wanted to live us his peace because he knew that he could stand firm in that sort of peace and he wanted us to stand firm after he was gone and and so he says here i give you the peace and don't think that jesus never had trouble in his life he did the pharisees were against him the the teachers and all these people were against him and they wanted to destroy him and they wanted to kill him eventually they crucified him so he had all these things going up against him but he was in peace. The peace that God had given him, the peace that he had, he wanted to leave to us so that we could stand firm just like he did when all those troubles came. He was never troubled. He was never afraid. He was never in fear of other things that might destroy him because he knew that his peace stood firm in the truth of what God is and the salvation that he wanted to give us. And so... Nothing in the world could trouble him. He knew his mission. He knew his purpose. So he was not afraid. He came into this world with eyes wide open, knowing what his mission was going to be. And that was to die for us in a cross so we could have salvation. And now he had a big mission, but he was ready and he lived a life of peace. Us, we know we're not going to die in a cross one day to save all of humanity, but we do have all these other troubles. But we don't know them yet, but we know we can live in peace, even if we do know them or we don't know those troubles. No, we can live a life of peace just like Jesus did. Not with violence, not with, not with fighting verbally or physically. No, he wanted us to stand firm in peace. Not to go against one another, but to bring one another together to unify us as warriors of God, to fool be fully armored and to have a full army standing against the evil one and standing against the world. He wanted us to be unified and the only way he was going to do that was through peace, to be, bring others into our peace. We see um, the old uh, beauty pageants and the contestants, every time they asked them what was your one wish, they would say world peace, world peace. Sure, we might not see peace in this world, but we can have peace in this world. And that comes through unifying, through evangelizing, through bringing more people to that peace that we have, that we have obtained through Jesus and through the gospel of peace, the gospel, the teachings that Jesus gave us. And, and that is what the word gospel means, the, the teachings of Jesus. Jesus, if we go to the word of, of God, to the Bible, that is our biggest instrument. We go to the word of God, we go to the Bible and we read it. And we learn the teachings of Jesus. We, we learn everything that teach, 
Jesus taught to his apostles, that he taught to his disciples, that he taught to the people that lived around him and surrounded him at that time. But the, the word that he also left for every single one of us. So when we open the Bible and we read his word, we read his teachings, we understand them, we apply them to our lives, we will be ready for when that day comes, when those battles come. We will be able to stand firm in his teachings and have that same peace that he wanted to leave, that he lived and that he wanted to leave to us. So in the middle of this chaotic world, in the middle of all our battles, in the, in the middle of this big old war we have waged against the evil one because we have decided to follow Jesus, we have decided to uh, receive his salvation, we will find peace. And the only way we can find peace is in Him. Only in Jesus Christ, only in God, only in His Word and in His teachings can we find true, everlasting peace. And that's what the, the Apostle Paul was telling them. He was telling them, put on the full armor of God. He said, put on the belt of truth, put on the breastplate of righteousness. And next, you know, uh, have your fit, feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace so you know he said it's gonna come from the gospel of peace he didn't say it's gonna come from the world he didn't say he did not say it's gonna come from the material comforts you have in life or from your own you know understanding it says it's gonna come from the gospel of peace and the gospel of peace is Jesus Christ it's his word it's it's his teachings it's his laws it's his mandates that is our gospel of peace Jesus Christ himself and what he stood for and so when we we apply that to our lives we are able to accept that then we're able to take one more step forward as warriors for God we have we already have our belt of truth living lives of truth we already have our breastplate of righteousness we live every moment as a righteous person in the law of God and next we are we are fitting our feet with the readiness that comes from the gospel of God so feel yourself Fill yourself with the gospel of God and your feet will be ready to stand firm in that day of battle. And that's the word I want to leave you with. And I hope you keep uh, uh, subscribing. I hope you keep listening. I, I hope that this word is a blessing to you. And uh, I will see you next time. God bless you.